Coach Stuart Baxter, we just witnessed a sort of humdinger of a match, uh, which ended in 1-1 draw, Coach. Not the result you were looking for. Um, Coach, uh, give us the 90 minutes, uh, what you saw. Uh, well, if you'd have asked me if it was the result I was looking for when we won nil down with about five minutes to play, I'd have said, yes, it was. Uh, but I get what you, I get what you mean, we, we're looking to win games. Look, I thought we played very well in the first half. I think what they what they had, uh, we uh, we contributed to that with with silly mistakes, and that wasn't many. You know, they didn't have many chances. We had I think four super chances where their keeper makes a couple of unbelievable saves, and we come in at half time knowing that if we can ratchet it up, uh, we don't we don't continue to overcommit in our defending one-on-one -on -one around the box and give us silly free kicks and if we don't give the ball away when we've just won it on transition then we can get more out of the game but the game's not underway when we we make a for me an elementary error we spread out we spread out play difficult lose the ball big big spaces between our defenders and we give away the goal which means it's a new uphill battle uh, I think for about 10, 15 minutes, I think it was a bit Keystone Cops, you know, we were, we were chasing the ball. Uh, energy was used in trying to individually get us, get us back into the game. We settled down again and started playing better football. Uh, and of course, the, the, more, the more the clock ticked... Take your time. The more the clock ticked, the more we were throwing more more and more attacking players onto the field at the finish we had a, a massive attacking unit and uh, and we created a couple of great situations one of them resulted in the penalty which even though it's late it's very welcome and I was just I was just hoping that Keegan was going to blast it in the back of the net the way he did and not we'd go away with another one that would have been a bit tough to take uh, I think looking at the whole game because we gave something away that we shouldn't have, I think maybe we don't deserve more than the 1-1. One, one. But I think, you know, it, it only needs us to change small things that this can be a, a victory against the team that finished second on their home patch wow. last year. And, and it only needed small things to give sundowns when we lose 2-0. It's only small things there that could turn that into a victory. So I hope the supporters understand the journey that we're on. I hope they stick with us because, you know, I think there's enough happening to encourage us to believe that this could be very good if we can just shift that 10%. Coach, let us take us back to your starting lineup and formation. Just in a nutshell, what were your intentions? And... Well, I have to say, you know, Doobie's been, <coughs> Doobie's been very good in training. <coughs> Excuse me. And we wanted to go back to a 4-3-3. And as the defensive midfield player, we, wanted to, we didn't want to use Cole the way we did in the last game. So we wanted to use uh, Jibulo. It was new for him. He did okay. He took too many touches at times. He was playing more like a, a playmaker than a, than a destructive midfield player. But at times he showed that he's got qualities in that role. And, uh, and it released Cole and Nanga to, to get higher into the box. And we did get more bodies in the box, which is something we spoke about after our last game. So when crosses were coming in, we were getting on the end of some of them. Uh, when we were attacking, we could feed balls into feet and combinations were on because we had little groups of players. Now, we had, uh, we had the same front three. We had Reeve playing left back. I think Blum is playing really, really well at the moment, I think. Shabulu is, in my opinion, the best fullback in the country at the moment. Uh, Reeve, who's also got a great engine, galloped on, and we could release them a little bit, knowing that we'd got we'd got uh, Jabulo who could sit in that defensive role and give us a bit of cover. And for long periods, it worked very nicely. But you know, you can't lose the ball and give the opponents big transitions when you're chasing the game, because that leads to a counter attack and. If they'd have finished one of those counter-attacks, then uh, it would have been probably game over. But we needed to take that risk. 
and I think, and I think the boys, the boys, by and large, did a did a decent job. Finally, coach, the meaning of this uh, result uh, in a bigger scheme of things. The bigger scheme of things, Vina. Honestly, it's it's very very early to be looking at the table. Uh, the teams at the top, we've probably got to play all of them again. So if we can take the points off them, you know, we close that gap. I think it's it's just really really important for us, both supporters, staff, players, to look at putting back together a culture around the team, putting back together a team that has a, an identity and a way of playing. And we concentrate on the performances and the individual performances. When they get better, then we'll get that 10%. And if we get that 10%, I promise you, we'll be difficult to beat. And then you're going on FIFA break. Um, you, your plans? Uh, as always, you, the time that you get free, you, you want to spend it with your family. Uh, but it won't be a long time. There'll be a couple of days and then... Uh, I'll probably go and visit my, one of my kids uh, and uh, let them take care of the old man. And uh, then after that, we'll come back and it's back to the grind. Back to the grind and we will be working very hard. All the best, coach. Thank you. Thanks, Vina. Enterprising football from your team. Uh, we're really showing that you're the home team today, but uh, also chances created. Uh, just unfortunate that we end up feeling like had done yeah brilliant um it was a fantastic performance from the boys listen you can't fault them i think we said if we if we marginalize our mistakes if we don't give them giveaways they won't come they won't get into this game because they don't have the quality you know they don't have the quality to open us up to get to break us through and then create um, clear goal scoring opportunities from, from the last few games that we've seen they still yet finding their feet so I, I, I knew that was a disadvantage for them and if we use the mobility that we have because they clearly went a little bit defensive having um, a central defender um, Njabulo Nobo playing in midfield with Nange and Cole Alexander, so it's very defensive. So we wanted to use the mobility of um, Memela and Maduna and Sise to get in behind, picking balls up in those little pockets and then feeding to Bonks. And yeah, it, 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 it worked very well because we, we, we use, you know, the playing the one-twos, one-touch football, getting in behind them. And then we scored a fantastic goal, go one nil up. And then could have gone 2 0 up as well, you know, but good save from the goalkeeper. And um, yeah, so much one is. So then, then when um, you get the chances and you, you control the game, you, you, you're in possession of the ball, and then yeah, just, you know, us not being very smart um, by. Running down the clock, running down the clock, and and and, and playing to to to, to maintain our, our, our one nil advantage. That because Kaiser Chiefs are pushing the game and they're pushing a lot of numbers forward, and then yeah, we just a loss of concentration, but. Our